Hello and welcome to Microbiology Shorts. These are short videos on microbiology topics. My name is Rebecca Payne and this is binary, bacterial growth binary fission. Binary fission is a process where a single cell basically duplicates itself, splits in half, and then divides into two individual identical cells. It's a process of cloning in a sense, where a clone is an identical copy of a cell. Um, so this is an example with a rod-shaped cell and we see here that the DNA is in purple and the plasma membrane or cell membrane is in yellow and the cell wall is on the outside in brown and this cell looks like it's already started to duplicate its DNA because here's part of it and there's a part of it so DNA has to be duplicated the cell elongates and then something called a septum or a cross wall on this particular slide is what they're calling it. A septum or a cross wall begins to form and the plasma membrane starts to shrink and so it looks like it's starting to make two separate cells. The DNA copy of one goes over here, the DNA copy of the other goes over here. Then after the cell wall is fully formed, the cell can then split into two cells. So let me show you an animation of this. Most bacteria reproduce by a process called binary fission. During binary fission, the parental cell divides to form two daughter cells. In the first step of binary fission, the bacterium replicates or copies its chromosome and attaches each identical copy to a separate location on the cell membrane. Unlike eukaryotic cells, bacteria do not need to dissolve a nuclear membrane or assemble a mitotic spindle, making binary fission very quick and efficient. Second, the cell elongates. Since the chromosomes are attached to different locations on the cell membrane, they separate from one another. Third, the bacterium pinches off at the center and forms a septum, a separating wall between the two compartments of the cell. Finally, the cell splits into two new daughter cells. These daughter cells are fully mature bacteria that can grow and, if conditions are right, continue the binary fission process. So that is the process of binary fission. It's common in bacteria. It's common in some other microbes, but not all. Um, it's not common in fungi. Uh, it can be common for things like algae, um, but uh, not for protozoa, usually. Uh, so this is basically a bacterial way of duplicating itself. And this is a really fast process. For things like E. coli, this could happen, this cycle of starting the, the duplication process to finishing the duplication process could happen in 15, 16, 17 minutes. So you can get double the number of cells um, um, almost four times an hour, which makes for a really quick growth process. Okay, so this is a really super short short, micro short, and glad you could join me, and I will see you next time.